question 21. Well, in order to simplify this into a single fraction, we have to have a common denominator. So choose to multiply the first term by top and bottom by x, and the second term top and bottom by 2 minus x. That ensures that our common denominator is x times 2 minus x. So the bits in red are what we're choosing to multiply each term by. Obviously, if you do the same thing to top and bottom, it is unchanged. So multiply out the numerator. We've got 5 times x. And multiply out this numerator. We've got 4 times 2 and 4 times minus x. So popping that all in a bracket, we've got 5x minus 4 times 2 and minus 4 times minus x. Um, so uh, minus 4 times 2 is minus 8. Minus 4 times minus x is plus 4x. So uh, simplifying our numerator, we get 9x minus 8. And I've left my um, denominator unchanged. Uh, x bracket 2 minus x. So that's it, a single term. Right, part B, make y the subject. So um, first step, let's undo it being on two levels. So undo the dividing by y plus 2. So choose to multiply both sides by y plus 2. So we've got t times y plus 2 equals t minus 3y. Multiply out the bracket 2y plus 2t equals 2 minus 3y. Now we want to get all our terms with y on the left and all our terms without y on the right. So add 3y to both sides and take away 2t from both sides giving us this. We can then factorize the left hand side isolating our y. So y open bracket t plus 3 equals 2 minus 2t. That is now isolated so we now just undo the times in by t plus 3 by dividing by t plus 3. So y equals 2 minus 2t all over 2 plus 3.